Okay, Jack Daunter um, says, do you use proxies with a ghost browser with ghost browser or browse you when doing stuff with GMB accounts? Going through local lease pro and wanting to make sure if I set it up correctly. No, you don't need to. You absolutely don't need to. The, that the 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 key to this, guys, is IPs used to be one of the ways that Google could determine if you were doing spammy stuff because if you were always logging in through two accounts through the same IP, then Google could associate that, you know, IP with spammy activity and basically flag everything that you do, right? Or scrutinize everything that you do that much more anyways. Uh, but because of how prevalent Wi-Fi is now and so many different people and different devices are connected through the same public Wi-Fi through, you know, Starbucks and all these other things, uh, you know, all the, all everywhere has public Wi-Fi now. It's common now for there to be multiple different kind of accounts and devices signed into one IP, right? That's absolutely common. It's normal. It's natural. And so that's why we don't have to worry about hiding stuff through proxies anymore with the, uh, with the tools like Browsio or Ghost Browser, because we can sign in to each individual profile that has its own browsing session, which is going to keep all of its browsing history and cookies and cache, and it's going to accrue. Google will be able to build a profile based upon its history, right? That profile's browsing history, the sites that they visit, the activities that they perform while online, right? And so all of that keeps, that's why I, I don't know if that's the proper term, but in Local Lease Pro, I called those applications browser keepers, right? Because it keeps all of the activity within the browsing session for that particular profile. And so even when you close the software down, when you reopen it, it's, you don't have to log in everything again because you're already logged in. It's kept all of its history, right? So that's perfectly normal. That's natural. And that's why you don't need to have proxies anymore. So to answer your question, that's why I didn't say anything about proxies because this, remember, Local Lease Pro was supposed to be for the side hustler, maybe not necessarily IM people. And so you're overcomplicating it by injecting proxies into it. <laughs> Does that make sense? I, I made it as simple as possible for a reason because a lot of the people that were going to be, you know, exposed to that product or that training aren't necessarily SEOs or internet marketing people. And so I wanted to make it as easy as possible and you don't need proxies. And that's why I don't mention proxies at all in that training. If that makes sense. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. You don't need them. Um, you know, if you're a tinfoil hat type of guy and you're really worried about it, then you could use proxies, but that's an added expense and an added complication that's really unnecessary at this point. 